Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2 Blitzkrieg, the first DLC pack out for Unity of Command 2, uh, the sequel to the wargaming classic Unity of Command 1. In this DLC pack, you are given the option to play a German campaign with 25 scenarios, 13 of them historical, 12 alternate history. And uh, in today's episode, we're returning to our campaign, which is the fifth battle in this campaign. We've entered the alternate history track, and we're launching an early invasion on France. Uh, we have already successfully attacked the Low Countries, but we are now invading France from the south for whatever reason, and we're invading through Switzerland. We have about five turns left in the game. We've run into some serious challenges, uh, but we'll see if we can maintain our progress. We've gained a major breakthrough sort of in the center of the line. We've cleared the Straussburg pocket, and we are now driving on our objectives to the west of the map. But there's some serious logistical hurdles and challenges that we have to overcome to have a chance of success. And this is where this game really shines. It's a game fundamentally about logistics, and uh, let's see if we can do it. We're kind of hung up in the south near Bern. We're kind of hung up in the north near Shalon, so those are two key objectives. But then there's also two other objectives in the center of the map on the far left, uh, sort of center left, I guess. And uh, we have to push there. We don't have rail lines that are cleared to that point, so we need to clear those rail lines, uh, and we can't get hung up on too many bomb licks. And that's where we stand right now. So anyway, this was taken from a live stream uh, from my Twitch channel, so I'll uh, turn it back over to my live stream myself and catch you guys at the end. Quite have the range to get them there. Okay. All right, um, let's end the turn and see what how the chips fall. Newhauser, you'd say there's nothing like the best. Everybody likes to argue over what the best is, but you may be right. I don't I don't know that this is I don't know that there is a correct answer. God damn the cavalry. Just destroyed one unit. Just destroyed two of my divisions. That one French cavalry division. Alright, Shalons is digging in. I need infantry to get those guys out. This is one of my favorite. For whatever that's worth. You know, the only the concerning thing is these guys could try and drive on Luxembourg or, or along this railway here in the north. Just in case, we'll pull one of those divisions back. Alright, so we breach Nancy. Alright, let's hit it with air. God, you're kidding me. These fuckers are really putting the hurt on me casualty-wise. That Nancy, I'm trying to clear the damn railway. All right. There we go. We took it. Does that give us rail forward? A little bit. There's still, there's another enemy unit on the rail line. But I'll go take their... Supply and drive deep into the heart of uh, other rear, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to use this infantry to pin these enemy troops in the north while I continue advancing west on Chalons. Four turns to take all these objectives. Unless they're, like, completely unoccupied, I'm in trouble. Mm. 
nothing. You got me nothing. I did get one enemy KIA. That was... I didn't want to take those losses, but... Just trying to brute force it. Well, we took burn. That was not the way to do it, but we did. So another objective down, three more to go with 11, 12, 13, 14, four more turns. I've got no real breakthrough in the south. We need to take Dijon, Troyes, and Shalon. Shalon, that, that might be, I don't know why I moved that armor that way. That may be doable. the supply how's the the supply situation looking for these guys support that armor defensive over there I also need to get these headquarters further forward Panzer Group Kleist Move your head goddess forward. Alright. I can't believe I haven't gotten these troops across the river near Mulhouse yet. That's going to be the death of me. I've got these fuckers flanked, and I can't even... I need to free up some other depots. That one's not doing a whole lot. Not yet. Maybe tomorrow. Fuck. Alright, well, Baron's ours. Maybe that'll trigger a general withdrawal by the Swiss. I don't know. I also did, must have taken the depot of the troops at burn, so they'll weaken gradually, but we can't afford to wait three turns at this point for units to starve out. We don't have enough turns left. They just blew a rail line that may have cut the supply to their troops at Basel. No, apparently not. They must have a depot up here? There's a depot here. But where... Is this guy drawing supply from? I guess the depot might get it from over here. I'm not sure. Well, their rear sure seems weak. I just drove my mechanized troops. We're, we're on our way toward Troy's. Zero to five overrun. All right, let's try and pound this. Ha. 
How do we not get a breach there? Nice. Okay. Well, that's a huge result for us. So we just took this, so that'll bring supplies out this way. Very good. Get the overrun here. Okay, so we took Chalon, so there's now Dijon and Troyes. Troyes is right up here, and we are advancing on it. Dijon is over here. I don't know where the bulk of their strength is left or how much they have, you know, that's not in their front lines in terms of strength. I'm guessing Moolhouse isn't unoccupied. Okay, so these guys are going to be so out of supply, but that's okay. See, the thing is, if they drive north to try and cut a rail line here, I'll just link up using these rail lines. Now, we probably do want to repair some bridges. Well, I can't, apparently. There's no bridges to repair. This guy move his headquarters forward more. Okay. Supply, pull them back. Nice, we'll get a zero to two and a breach. Give me another breach, no. Nonetheless, I think we're gonna finally flank these guys. need to get here and then this whole group will fall out of supply. Overrun breached. I'm surprised that wasn't an overrun, just a breach. support, huh? Yeah, 
All right, we're gonna have to pull that. I'm gonna move one of those depots forward. Is there any other depots I can take? All right, so we'll have two more depots tomorrow. steps yeah drops their experience though whatevs get them to the front all right so burn is gonna fall we might have an outside chance of getting Dijon, Dijon in the next three days also who knows it all, a lot depends on how strong those those forts are or those bases are but that's gonna do it for this turn we'll see how things play out in our next one hey Nimcross how you doing the Unreliable Trunk, thanks for the follow. Pretty sure they just cut supplies to the whole Swiss forces in that area. We'll see if our Panzers can get far enough into the rear to do Panzer things. I'm guessing the base isn't unoccupied, and I guessed correctly. Well, fuck, and they're dug in, too. How do they still have supply? Where are they drawing it from? I could have... I definitely would have thought we had cut it by now. the hell out of those guys. We're going to see what they, they have at Troy. I guess... Do I just bomb these guys? Is that what I do? This is the biggest waste of air power ever. Oh my god, that was a waste. Didn't get a single fucking hit. This, this Mulhouse front has to be cut off from supply now, right? Alright, so we cleared that. That depot's gone.
Alright, so there's supply all along this railway here. So what I need to do... I need to, to push it forward a little bit more. So let's put one here, expand that supply. What's the situation in the south? These guys are all out of supply. Can't even drop a damn supply depot until I clear the rail line here. Fucking A. That's the furthest forward I can pull it to. These guys gotta be out of supply tomorrow. Pulling some of these units back because they're completely, you know, fucked supply-wise. Uh... Finally, we got a breach. attack that just because who knows maybe maybe something good will happen Jesus Christ oh yes okay first off that was huge because it just allowed my units to draw more supply units that were completely out of supply last turn will not go two turns out of supply second of all it's huge because we just finally took, I think, what was their forward depot, so I'm hoping we can take Basil tomorrow. Or in the next turn. But I don't really know that it matters. I mean, we've got to drive forward and take Dijon, and we've got to take Troy's, and I just... Troy's might fall. It, it Maybe. But unless Dijon is unoccupied... I just don't see myself being able to push forward enough. Do we need these, this depot? Yes. What about this depot? Yes. What about this depot? Probably not. All right. Um, we'll end the turn. It's going to come down to the wire. We can get close to... <laughs> you can see here there's two enemy units up here. What do we need to take to get... Oh, we gotta take Molehouse to open the supply line this way. Or do we have any supply coming down this rail? So we need to clear this city. Okay, so we drove it off the rail line. The horrible thing is we're driving it right into... I 
can't... I just drove it right toward a depot. Fuck. I mean, I can block it, but it requires pulling one of my armored units back. Oh my god. Alright. Kleist. Don't you... Can't you repair that bridge? Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to get there. Not with that many enemy units in front of me. Fuck. We're going to lose. Well, shit. Those guys are going to be in supply next turn. I mean, even if we somehow... That's a major river. I can't even... I can't even cross it. I can't even get across the damn thing. I'd have to approach from the south, from the flank, down from Dijon. Fuck. My God. Well, we just took the damn city. That means the most to getting our troops supplied on this end of the front. If it took too long to break the guys in the center, I think the issue was not Strasbourg. That worked out pretty well. It was, it was the southern flank. It was near near Switzerland that doomed us.
It was Basil. Basil specifically is what doomed us. I mean, even if we had arrived, like, a turn and a half ago, I, I don't think I'd have the strength to assault the final objectives. They have too many units there. They just moved a whole bunch of shit around and cut supply of mine, and... I mean, in theory, we can construct a pontoon like I just did and, and get around them. Where did they just cut my supply? These guys here? Press on, men! Overrun! Whatevers. What a fucking messed up situation, right? The AI is reinforcing like a motherfucker. It's like, dude, the scenario is over. Defeat at full brown. Uh, it's about 12.30 Mexicans. But yeah, I think that'll do it, guys. I tried to come back to it. I hoped maybe we would have some success, but obviously we didn't. So today we did win the Battle of uh, Antwerp earlier today. And uh, we started the Battle of Fall Brown, but that failed. I'm not sure if we'll try it again or if we'll just kind of go back to before we started the alternate history track and try the historical track, since that track is supposed to be a little bit easier. And this is a very challenging battle that, frankly, now I've already tried twice and failed twice. So let me know your thoughts and kind of what you'd like to see. I may have already decided by the time this video airs, but uh, I'm, I'm curious what you guys are, are interested in seeing. Um, I'll probably return to this battle at some point, but I think we may divert the campaign uh, back onto the historical track uh, and see how we can do there. But uh, let me know your thoughts below, as always. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.